pulled out of Sucker Flats. We're headed down the road. We're still in the country. We're leaving there. It's about uh, 2.20. I mean, 10.20. Hank, you want to say goodbye? And say hello to the people? Vicky's downloading you guys a video right now. So, uh... Is it private? We're on the road. No, you want to be public now. Be public now? Yeah. This is their second video to ever download to the YouTube. To her site, Greener Than a Gourd. If you haven't joined it, join it. We're headed into Nevada now. Talk at y'all later. Bye. Well, here we are. East Ely, it says. This is the train museum we've been telling you about. We've never been here. We parked right over there. We're having a serious transmission problem. It won't shift into gears easily. It slips and slides. We're very concerned about that. We got a pass to go over before we can get down to where there's even a transmission shop. But we're gonna go check this out and let the truck cool down even though it isn't hot and see what happens. we can go down here. What'd she say? Two blocks? That's a long walk. This is the, the old station, I'm guessing. Depot oh. Museum. All uh, decorated up for Halloween. It's This is still a working station. I don't know why it's a museum. I guess because of all the old stuff. Okay, that's <laughs> just what I love, stairs. Here we go. Hmm. Hi. Hello. Hello. We're filming everything. So we'll never forget. If you want to sign in for me and I'll take your yellow tickets. Oh, okay. A portion of those. Your yellow tickets. Thank you. Okay, this building is 111 years old. Wow. Okay. These are the general offices for Nevada Northern Railway. They worked here when they were in service. So there's a lot of history in the rooms. And then we have old business machines and furniture dating back to the 1900s. Cool. Okay. Go ahead and go through the rooms. When you get done, come into that office behind me. Uh -huh. I have artifacts in there you can look at. Okay. And at that time, I'll answer any questions you got. All right. All right. Thank okay. you. Thank What's you. the date today? It's the, the 28th. 1023. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're almost at the end of the month. Yes, we are. Well, we'll show the pictures. Too much glare. What do we got here? Oh. Just office. This is Vicky's cup of tea, old stuff. Old, old stuff. So if you like old stuff, this place to come. There's the old spikes, tools they used, put them together. I'm not going to show you the pictures because I think it would be too glary. That's an old open pit mine photo right there.
Smells like an old building. This is the auditor's office. Had a good view. He must have been important. That was the gen general superintendent's office. We were just in across the hall there. Supply room. It's a bunch of old supplies. OSHA approved, I'm sure, <laughs> back in 1900. You want to see some of these steps? Oh. Some of the stuff? Yeah. But this is an order. I don't know whether you've been to the engine house or not. No. But they use those on the uh, steam engines. Uh huh. And if you go down there, you'll probably see them in there. This is a lot cleaner though. The other ones over there, are, you know, because it's kind of like a dirty place, that shop. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's like, yuck. A spittoon. Those were on all the passengers when they were in service. These are office items, a stapler, a stamp, ribbon applicators, paper clips, clipboards, lanterns in the back. These two came last. They have uh, batteries in. Cool. What's this one right here? That's a stapler too? That's a stamp. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's got the information underneath. Hello. Hopefully. Will they have her done? Well, here's the big building you go into. I'll show you where we were as soon as I watch my step and go across these real carefully. Okay. We were down there in that white building where you see the flag. Now we've walked up here and we're going to see the engines and the cabooses and the, whatever they got. Let's go look at it and check it out. Yep, it smells like a working shop. Ever been in a, a shop with oil? That's what it smells like. Hey, I want to get a picture of that locomotive engine you're moving there. This is a working shop. I didn't let people come in here. You just got to be careful. There's the old... Uh, I had to shut the sound off in the other place. They were playing music. This is what they called it. 81. And they had the blueprints and everything in here when this thing was built. I don't know if we're supposed to get up there or not. I ain't crawling up them steps. But there it is. Throw your coal right there. And Choo-choo it goes. That's a massive. 
Well, this is 93. This isn't the one. She was telling us about. This one looks like it's been used as of lately. Let's see if we can get in there and get that. Yeah, let's see. Nah, it's too shady. Yeah, I think we got it. Massive springs. Massive everything. I guess some boilers in there with all them pins holding them together. All those right there. I don't know nothing about trains. I'm hoping somebody's watching this that knows a lot about them that can tell me about them. My wife is taking pictures of that thing out there. That thing's got some tonnage weight. I don't know what it didn't say. Massive machinery. That's a coal car over there. Let's go look at it. That's right. This one hooks onto the other one. It's full of coal. I think the other stuff's in here, Ms. Vicky. Yeah. We're still looking. She said that uh, 81 was torn. Yeah, there's a bunch more in here. This must be the one she's talking about right there. It's torn apart. Number 81. That's a... Uh, when did she say that was built? I don't remember. Long time ago. They're restoring it, I guess. All right, I've been ordered to stand by this. Well, that woman right there, and I do take her orders. Fall in. I'm not falling in. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. She's gonna take my picture standing by this thing. It is big. Okay, we're gonna. A lot of them in here. People aren't too friendly, though. They probably get tired of people bothering them when they're working. Oh, well, that's a crane. Crane something. Wrecking crane. All different years, I'm assuming. God, these are massive. This is going to be a long video, guys. So I'm going to show you everything. Because I know there's going to be train people looking at this. I know Willie likes trains. I think there's more to go look at. We're going to go find out. Costs eight bucks a person to come and see this stuff. But if you like old trains, that's pretty cheap. Oh, there's an old caboose. Look at this stuff. Huh. Oh, this is a. Uh, could this be a snow? 
I bet this is a snowblower. Look at that massive thing. Yeah, it could be a snowblower. What do you think? Wow. Isn't that something? It, it gets something out of the way, I'm guessing snow. That's cool. On the front of this here. Uh, is that what that is? Snowblower? I thought it was. Wow. It like pushes through. These, like big drifts, these blades like open, open out and it, just like your snow you push down the sidewalk. Wow. That's close amazing. it out up the top. Wow. Do you know how to use that? Use like one of these uh, phone cameras, do you? Uh, no. Look at <laughs> my hands, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. I still got a flip phone. Yeah, that caboose is seeing better days. I think this is the most awesome thing to me, this big old snowblower. My goodness. And it's hit a rock or two. This thing, they, when these get going, I guess they flip out. And then that just blows the snow somewhere. You want? Well, we found 81, but I don't think this is the 81 she was talking about. Might have been. We didn't look at the blueprints. We're uh, more interested in seeing the real things. Eight oh one. I bet if you guys Google these numbers, you could find out the whole history on the, each one of these. That might be interesting to you guys. I'm hoping this whole thing's interesting to you. It is to us. Now we got to go find something else that's interesting. We got to make it over the pass. I. We're both very worried about that transmission in that truck. Don't know why it's doing that. It don't want to shift out of gears, and then when it does, it just revs. That's not a good thing. Hopefully, the next video is not from a transmission shop. Let's see if there's anything else to see. A few odds and ends out here in the back. Big snow plow over there. And wheels, axles, parts, pieces. I don't know if we can go into that one or not. Might walk that way and check it out. Hope you found this one interesting. Subscribe, join our channels. There's going to be more to come.